Easy layup. Good job by Bergantino, at least making it a little tough on him. Chance for three. There you Got go. it. From the left wing on a handoff from Trey Davis. Williams with four straight, and now it's a five-point game, 16 to 11. Up to the front court, Bembry. Bembry two-pointer blocked by Escho. And a rebound by Raphael Putney as it came up as an air ball. Good attack by Escho to block it. Williams all the way to the rim. And he backs it up and in. Derek Gordon. In the backcourt with Chaz Williams, who checked back in. And now Sampson Carter to Gordon in the middle. Floater up and good for the left of the paint. Second basket for Gordon makes it 21-19. 13 to shoot. Gordon driving it down to Sevic now. Picked up the dribble. Pass for Escho in the middle, and he dunks it in. Derek Gordon set it up. And then the ball knocked out of bounds by Putney on the inbounds pass. But that dunk by Escho makes it 37-33 UMass. Minutemen get their first points in about three and a half minutes. Ending a 9-0 St. Joe's run, and they press. And Escho knocks it away to Gordon. Gordon back to Davis. Trey for three. Yes, good! Trey Davis off the Gordon steal. Get something going here against this zone. Yeah, don't need a three. If you look at it, look at it two. Chaz does take the three at the top, and he knocks it in. 59-56. A minute, 10 left. St. Joe's has it back with a one-point lead. And oh! Escho a steal, and a dunk on a breakaway. Maxi picked the pocket. He Wait. took it away from Bembry. Timeout, St. Joe's. What an incredible individual effort by Maxi Escho. Wow. Now behind the line, up top, Kanasevic. Ten seconds left. Kanasevic back to now a three-pointer. Thanks it and missed. Rebound, Trey Davis for UMass, and he's fouled with two and a half seconds remaining. Pass to Kanasevic for three at the buzzer. It's no good. And the Minutemen open Atlantic 10 play with a thrilling comeback win over St. Joe's. 